nightmares, are vividly realistic, disturbing dreams that shutter you awake from a deep sleep. They often set your heart pounding from fear, but after all, they only occur in the mind, and cannot manifest into reality, or possibly cause you any harm. What if a gateway, existed within the mind? A gateway, to the other realm. A gateway that could be exploited by dark entities, and demons. Used for the sole purpose, of infiltrating your mind, and draining your blood, physically, from within your dreams. Today's video, features such a creature. A monster so evil, it could only come straight from the depths, of hell. Originating from German folklore, the Alp, is a malevolent, vampiric spirit that can present itself in the form of a butterfly, created from the whisper, of a demon. This vampire butterfly will manifest within the nightmares of its victims, before crossing over from the spirit world, into the real. The Alp will then proceed to drain the blood from its victim, and because its existence is confined to the dreamscape, it is virtually, unstoppable. With its ability to shapeshift into cats, dogs, snakes, butterflies and pigs, this male demon will appear indiscriminately, in the nightmares of men, women, and children alike. The legend of the Alp monster began in the mountainous area of Germany and Austria. It is also believed, that the majority of the inspiration behind this vampiric creature, is derived from Teutonic folklore. Teutonic mythology is composed of a body of myths and stories encompassing popular ideas, on natural, or supernatural, and social phenomena. Based on the religion of the ancient Teutons, a group comprised by Germans, Anglo-Saxons, Scandinavians, Goths, and other Northern European peoples. The Teutons are best known for their participation, together with the Cimbri, and other groups, in the Cimbrian War. A war fought against the Roman Republic, in the late 2nd century, BC. Initially, the Teutons were depicted as friendly beings, that lived peacefully in the mountains. Eventually, the legend turned into something, malevolent. The Alp monster, is thought to be responsible for giving nightmares, sleepwalking, and sleep paralysis. It is also known, for assaulting its victims sexually, whether they are male or female. However, compared to other creatures associated with the vampire, or the undead, this creature, does not force itself upon its victims, it uses a much more passive method, it enters through the mouth, as a mist. An Alp, is typically male, while the Mara, and Mart, appear to be more feminine versions of the same creature. Its victims are often females, attacking them during the night, controlling their dreams and creating horrible nightmares. An Alp attack is called, an Alp Druk, this is when an Alp, sits upon a victim's chest as they sleep, and becomes heavier and heavier, until the crushing weight, awakens the terrified and breathless dreamer. The victim then awakens, unable to move under the Alp's weight. This may have been, an early explanation for sleep paralysis, night terrors, and lucid dreams. The Alp, is often associated with vampires, because it will drink blood. Where it differs, is the fact that it will drain the blood from the nipples of its victims, and not the neck. And although it will invariably, drink the blood of men and young children, it prefers the breast milk of women, and thus, they remain its preferred prey. There are a number of strange localized stories that bear less malevolent, and more mischievous traits of the Alp monster, like spoiling a baby's milk, or soiling a baby's nappy. A mother or a maid, must sign a cross on the nappy, or the Alp will place the soiled nappy, back on the child. Alps also tend to attack farm animals, sometimes milking cows dry, biting and chewing their tails, or riding them, to the point of exhaustion. The Alp, 
in many cases, is considered a demon, but there have been some instances in which the Alp is created from the spirits of recently dead relatives, more akin to a spirit or a ghost. Children too, may become an Alp, if a woman bites down on any implement, to ease the pain during childbirth. Also, a child born with hairy palms, may too become an Alp, and if a woman who is pregnant, is frightened by an animal, the child may be born, an Alp. Stillborn infants, are also suspected to return from the grave, as the fabled creature, and torment their family. And in one of the more bizarre rumors, people who had eyebrows that met in the middle, or a monobrow, were also suspected to be, the Alp. As with the case of werewolves, sometimes normal human beings or animals, may become an Alp, during the night, for reasons that are unclear. They are typically unaware of their nocturnal activities and are always in disguise while doing so. It also has an enigmatic hat, known as a tarn cap, that keeps it invisible, but the cap remains visible. If the creature loses his hat, he will offer a substantial reward for those who return it. This magical hat, possesses mystic eyes that give illness and other mishaps. The only way to counter its effect, is to remove or damage, the eye. According to German folklore, there are many ways one may protect themselves from the attack of the Alp monster. It includes putting a mirror on your chest, placing a broom under the pillow, and hanging a horseshoe on your bedpost. The crucifix is also a good way to negate the attack of the creature. If you were to wake up seeing this creature, you should brandish the cross, and ask him to return in the morning. He will leave you at that moment and return the following day, in his human form. At that point, one must offer him a gift, and he will simply, leave you be. Some stories state that the creature can be weakened, but it is almost impossible to kill. A person however, can be cured of the curse if they discover who sent it to them, or how they became cursed to begin with. Witchcraft is often the main driving factor. Sometimes an Alp, is a spirit summoned by a witch, or an evil person, wishing harm on another, and sent to torment them. Fooling and manipulating an Alp, may lead a person to its master, and only then, is it possible to escape, the dreaded curse. That concludes today's video. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe to this channel. And if you're so inclined, please feel free, to send me a donation, via Patreon. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye. Thank you.